Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing how to solve systems of linear equation using substitution. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Systems of linear equations are those equations na linear tapos kailangan silang isolve simultaneously. And usually, kung ilan yung variable na nakikita mo, yun yung number of equations na involved. In this case, meron tayong variable x at y, kaya dalawa lang yung ating equations na involved. Kung merong z dito, tatlo na dapat yung equation natin para masolve yung system na yun. So, for this first example, x plus 2y equals 23, at saka x minus y equals negative 10, we will use substitution method. So, paano ba ginagawa ang substitution method? It starts with labeling the first equation as equation 1, tapos itong pangalawa, ito yung equation 2. Substitution method, kailangan mag-set tayo either equation 1 or equation 2 na i-manipulate natin in such a way na yung left side niya or yung right side niya isang variable lang yung maiiwan isolated yung variable so sabihin natin dito equation 2 yung i-manipulate natin we have x minus y equals negative 10 we isolate x here sabihin natin yung y i-transpose natin this will be x equals positive na yung y minus 10 Itong value ng x na to, yung ipapalit natin or isa substitute natin sa x ng equation 1 dahil x yung naiwan natin na variable dito sa left side ng equation 2. So, using equation 1, we have x plus 2y equals 23. Instead of writing x, we will write y minus 10. Plus 2y equals 23. Tapos, i-combine lang natin yung like terms. Meron tayong y at 2y, this will be 3y minus 10 equals 23. Next, 3y, yung negative 10, ilipat natin sa kabila. That will be plus 10. 23 plus 10 will give us 33. Ito ay 3y. And then finally, to isolate y, we will divide both sides by 3 para ma-eliminate na yung kanyang coefficient. This will be y equals 11. Y pa lang yan, isasolve pa natin yung x using the manipulated equation 2. So, meron tayong x equals y minus 10, but y is 11. Subtract lang natin, 11 minus 10 is 1. And then, hindi natatapos sa ganyan yung sagot. Kailangan, our final answer is in the form of ordered pair. So, our ordered pair solution for this system is 1,11. At the same time, hindi tayo natatapos ng solution or ng pagsosolve kapag nakuha natin yung sagot. Kailangan, i-check pa natin yung nakuha natin na ordered pairs, equation 1 at equation 2. Hindi pwedeng mamimili lang tayo ng isang equation na pagsasubstitutan. Kailangan both equations, titingnan natin kung equal yung kanyang value. So, meron tayong x plus 2y equals 23. But this time, we will use x equals 1 and y equals 11. This will be 1 plus 2. This is 11 equals 23. 1 plus 2 times 11 is 22. So, kailangan ang ending nito sa checking ay yung reflexive property kung saan dapat equal yung left side sa right side. So, sa first equation, okay, tingnan natin sa second equation. Meron tayong x minus y equals negative 10. x is 1 and then y is 11. We will use 1 minus 11 equals negative 10. 1 minus 11, using the law of integers, kapag tayo ay magsusubtract, this will result to negative 10, and that is equal to negative 10. So, meaning, tama yung sagot natin na 1, 11. For this second example, subukan naman natin na gawin to on your own. Pause this video, and then try solving this example to on your own using substitution method. After a few seconds, Re-resume natin to check if your answer is correct.
Itong 5x minus y equal 36, let this be equation 1. Tapos, itong 3x plus 4y equals 40, let that be equation 2. So, hahanap lang tayo, alin sa equation 1 at equation 2, yung may variable na mabilis natin ma-isolate. So, kung titignan natin itong equation 2, may 3 na coefficient yung x, may 4 na coefficient yung y, medyo... Mahaba pa yung magiging process dito kasi may coefficient pa yung kanyang variable. Unlike dito sa equation 1, yung y natin, negative 1 na lang yung katabi. So, dito, mas mukhang okay gamitin yung equation 1 para mag-solve ng isang variable. Yeah, isolate natin yung y sa isang side. Pwedeng iwan natin yung y dyan. Tap, kaso magiging negative yung kanyang coefficient. So, pwede nga gawin natin dito, yung y yung itranspose natin, tapos yung 36 itranspose din natin sa left side. So, this will be 5x, yung 36 na positive, magiging negative. Tapos yung negative na y, pag nilipat mo, positive na. Ito ngayon yung y value na gagamitin natin pang substitute dito sa equation 2. We have 3x plus 4y equals 40, but we will use the value of y, 5x minus 36. 3x plus 4, don't forget to put the parenthesis. Kanina sa example 1, hindi tayo nag-parenthesis dahil wala namang coefficient yung variable. In, dito kasi may 4, kaya kailangan pag substitute natin ng value ng y, kailangan may parenthesis na dun sa 5x minus 36. So, itong 4, i-distribute natin. Dx pa din to. 4 times 5 is 20. X. 4 mm -hmm. times negative 36 is negative 144. Equals 40. And then, just combine like terms. This will be 3 plus 20, 23x. Negative 144 equals 40. Negative 144, i-transpose sa kabilang side. Pag tinranspose, magiging positive. This is 144. Simplifying this part, meron tayong 23x equals 184. And finally, dividing both sides by 23, our x value is 8. Again, gagamitin natin itong 8 na to to solve for y. So, ituloy natin dito. Meron tayong 5x minus 36 equals y, but x here is 8. We have 5 times 8 minus 36 equals y. 5 times 8 is 40 minus 36. 40 minus 36 is 4. Therefore, ang ating answer, gagawin natin ordered pair. It's 8, 4. And we will check this answer. So, unahin natin dito sa 5x minus y equals 36. Ang x value natin ay 8. Ang y value natin ay 4. This will be 5 times 8 minus 4. Kung mapapansin nyo, wala ng parenthesis sa 4 kasi wala naman siyang uh, number na coefficient aside from negative 1. 5 times 8 is 40 minus 4. 40 minus 4, that is 36. So, so sa equation 1, tama yung ating point of intersection. Ang nga pala, para i-interpret itong mga nagiging sagot natin, ito yung mga point of intersection ng una at pangalawang equation. May video tayo kung saan magdi-discuss tayo ng graphing method. Doon niya mas makikita kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng point na to. Kasi mas kita siya kapag ginraph natin. But as an idea, yung point na yan ay yung point of intersection ng dalawang lines na involved. So going back dito, ang x natin ay 8, ang y natin ay 4. Ganun din, we have 3 times 8. Isa substitute lang din natin. 3 times 8, this is 24. 4 times 4 is 16. Adding the two numbers on the left side, we will arrive with 40. So that's it kung paano tayo gumamit ng substitution method. 
Don't worry, kung hindi ka comfortable dito, meron pa tayong i-discuss na ibang methods sa mga susunod na videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.